my history with the teaching, it's uh, more of a family uh, history. It started with my brothers because uh, what I was taught one day, they came from school, like the whole family. And my dad uh, told them, uh, come on guys, I'll take, you to, I'll take you guys to school. And uh, they were like, dad, we just came from school. And uh, dad replied to them, uh, well, this is a different kind of school. I'm taking you to a, a school of life. Um, and then they started uh, with the teaching. It was actually uh, the teaching. And I was about two or three years old. And um, so it was just a story for me. But when I turned uh, 10 years old, uh, I ended up moving to uh, my big brother's house. So he was only him being already in the teaching. Uh, so we had an habit uh, to meditate, uh, the meditation of uh, 8 p.m., 8 o'clock. So that's when I started, you know, uh, getting familiar with the, the, the songs, um, the prayers, you know, like Appelle à la Lumière and um, other ones. And uh, short after, I started, uh, started to have dreams about the, the master. And the very first one was, uh, until today, I think just now I'm starting to understand what it meant, you know, back then when I had that dream. Uh, I was in my dream, I was like, uh, I took my dad to the bus stop. He was traveling in the dream. And on my way back, uh, I looked up and then the sky was open. And from the sky, I could see uh, the master holding his cane. And from, from above, he looked down on me and he smiled at me. And I was so moved that it just made me fly. And then I started to fly. And I was flying, flying, and at some point uh, I fell off. But the vision, it was, he was up there, he had his cane, and there was like a railroad. There were some brothers uh, building a railroad. So from then on, after that dream, I just, you know, uh, stuck with the, the, the teaching. And until today, it just have become a, a way of life, a lifestyle. Um, and it's of no regret because such a great teaching that uh, anybody, uh, if you come to know it, 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 it's a blessing, a blessing for life. Uh, when it comes to books, I would say the, the New Earth, because the New Earth is like a summary of the teaching. You have everything in there, like the practical side, and you still have the philosophical side as well. Uh, you know, there's like a, how couples should treat uh, one another and how you can um, work with the light in, in any situation of life and how even like the everyday uh, task of life, like from uh, uh, washing the dishes or from showering, you know, just taking a shower, all of that can be spiritualized. Uh, this is what you find out on the new earth when the master is talking about how one can spiritualize his everyday life, you know. And so, like I said, from eating, you know, uh, eating with the principle of Rani, Rani Yoga, which is the yoga of nutrition and how to walk, um, how to sleep even, and uh, how to, to shower. So every single thing that you can do, it's uh, um, taught by the master in the initiatic way, in initiatic science. So the New Earth was the book for me because I learned how to live my daily life according to the teachings. With uh, showering, so instead of just becoming like a, a, a regular thing, you get, we work a lot with your thoughts, right? With our thoughts. So you got to imagine as the water, like it's falling on you from the shower, you can imagine like you actually enter um, um, a cascade like a, a, a waterfall and the, underneath that waterfall where you are, the water coming from above is just, it's a complete cleansing, just purifying you, cleansing you. And you can also, you know, say, as I'm uh, cleaning my physical body, may my astral body be cleaned as well. And may my um, uh, mental body be uh, purified and may my spirit be sanctified. 
So you just are uh, accompanying like the, the gestures with the, some words that you can say innerly. I would say the, the teaching, just a couple of days ago, I was uh, watching a lecture, a conference by the master, and all of that just came to my mind. Um, because think about it, I just say that he's teaching about how to work, how to eat, how to shower, how to sleep. So, and then we know that at some point in, um, in our existence, like in life, in time, God always have sent like a messenger, a major ones like uh, Jesus or even other ones like Buddha, if I may say. And uh, this time, it's like we have been living, we've been on earth, and life is there. We, everybody has been living, everybody's alive. But now this being, uh, which is the Master Omra Mikhail Ivanov, who comes and he's telling you, this is how you should work. Like when you work, don't stamp on your heels too much because that, the heels have a, like a liaison with the brain and that can damage your brain. So you got to kind of, you know, tiptoe instead of like hitting your heels. So and then how to eat, you got to eat in silence and take your time to masticate and to extract like the energies like, that's contained in the food. So basically that makes me think that the teaching, it's all about how one should live their life in the best way to enhance all the seeds that God have put in us and to, so we can blossom to the, 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 the divine being that we, we can become. It's a, it, it's a long journey, but that's the ultimate goal. You know, like uh, Jesus said in the scriptures, like uh, become perfect, like your heavenly father is perfect. So the teaching, all the methods and all everything that's in the teaching, it just helps you to work toward that goal, which is to be perfect as our heavenly Father is perfect. And perfection, we always think that is something uh, like you got to have a posture, you got to, hey, hey, like you can't do any making it. No, it's all about the activity of our everyday life, bringing a spiritual element in those activities and step by step, Little by little, we uh, become better at things and our health improves and our intuition is awakened and all of the spiritual gifts that you can imagine. So to, yeah, I, I just said this, the, the teaching is a way of life, a divine way of life. Yes. So the, the, the teaching can uh, surely be applied at work like I said, in any uh, circumstances of life, um, because the, the master says, you gotta uh, see like the, the people or the, the, the matter, anything that you deal with in your everyday life as a matter that you need to work on uh, to make it more subtle. Or it's just, a, uh, it's work. There's always work to be done. So if you have a difficult boss or coworkers, there's no need to, you know, cry or want to quit because of that. That is an, an occasion that is given to you to work on yourself. Don't let anything just uh, get to you that easily. You know, you got to see it as like, okay, if I'm a patient, this is an occasion to work on my patience to show that I can be more patient. So that is one of the, the things, how you can apply the teaching at work. Um, also, when it comes to the... the because the teaching is applied in uh, an association that is called the uh, Universal White Brotherhood. And people get confused when they see the White Brotherhood. Like, oh my God, it's like only uh, belongs to the, the, the white, like as a race. But obviously, I'm black, right? <laughs> I'm uh, uh, originally from Congo and I'm living in the United States uh, for the past 18 years. So I'm an American. Um, so it doesn't, the, the, the white in the universal white brother, it's not referring to the, the, the race. White, it's a symbol of purity. And also, if you look at the, 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 the sun rays, like the, the light from the sun is white. When you look at it, it's white. But if you use a prisma, and then you would see or give you a spectrum of the seven colors. 
So the, the, the color white is like a summary of the, all seven colors. All the seven colors comes from that color. So it's no reference to the race. It's actually universal, meaning like every race. You might be a yellow race from Asia or white Caucasian or African or African-American or anything you can imagine, you can be part of the teaching. Um, and even when the master himself talks about universal white brother, he doesn't even stop at his disciples. He, when he thinks about it, it's all the beings, all the people, Christian included, uh, um, Muslim, Muslim included, uh, the Jew included, everybody that works for the light, that everybody that is working for the coming of the kingdom uh, uh, of God on earth uh, that we call the golden age. So the, the, the white reference in the name of the universal white brotherhood should not be uh, a problem because it's not referring to race. White magic and black magic, because we, we hear that a lot and people, I remember in my case, like uh, when I started teaching back in Congo, I had some friends like, oh, you guys are magicians, you do magic. Well, guess what? Everybody uh, is a magician, okay? Um, magician is just a science of uh, uh, linking the, the gesture and the, and, and the words. So black magic, it's a magic that leans on the dark forces. And dark forces, don't think it's something like uh, outside of yourself. At the minute that you sit there and start thinking bad about somebody because they uh, made you mad uh, or pissed you off, if I may say, excuse my language, if that is so uh, uh, offensive. And then you start thinking like, oh, I wish some bad happens to them. You're already doing the magic. In this case, it's a bad one. That's black magic, okay, as opposed to uh, 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 white magic. So the white magic, um, it's the kind of magic of, magic of goodness, okay, that is a uh, lens on uh, heavenly forces, on uh, the, 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 the forces from, from good, from, from goodness. So if I'm sitting here and I'm meditating, which we do in the Brotherhood, and I'm meditating that the whole world should become a family for all the human beings, all the humans, to treat one another as a brother and sister, I'm already in white magic. That's what it is because I, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about it, I'm wishing that on humanity, and that's white magic. So it's not something of uh, extraordinary. In between, people don't really talk about it. I can talk about the red magic, Red magic, it's like the one of demonstration that people do in circus. You know, that's red magic. They, they have a tower and then it turns to a bird. So that one is kind of in between, right? But as of uh, white magic and black magic, that is the, the simple way to, to, to put it. You know, white magic is the magic for good and black magic, it's when you fall into uh, um, wishing people bad and the dark forces, using the dark forces. Uh, as uh, of myself, once you are in a teaching, uh, and if you listen to what the master says, he says, I ask the brother and sisters to never use any knowledge they have to do bad, meaning to do black magic. That is a recommendation from the master. So in any situation that I'm facing, I always check myself. I, what, where, where am I leaning toward to? Is it like the, the bad side, the black magic, or the white magic? And also, we have two principles, the two natures in us, the lower nature and the higher nature, which we call personality and individuality. What is advising me right now? Which spell I'm under right now? My lower nature or my higher nature? As a disciple, this is what I always ask myself. And if I see, hey, buddy, right now, because somebody was said a bad word to you, now you want to slap them or you want to be mad as well? Uh oh, that's a lower nature. They're saying, oh, come on, experience, show him. Show him that you worth something too. 
But then I check myself, I'm like, well, there's no need to do that. Because once you start something, you never know when it's going to end. You're going to slap him, and now there's a fight, and it goes on, it goes on, and you ended up in jail. And your friends, your family, your wife is looking for you too late. So we always do that. We keep ourselves in check to see what is advising me right now. Where am I leaning toward to my lower nature or my higher nature, which is my individuality? And you always have the answer, which leads you to act the right way and not fall into uh, acting crazy and be on a, the wrong side. <laughs> Si la jiva est son ante chouchka, si la jiva est son ante chouchka, si la jiva est son ante chouchka.